Hallelujah. I want to share a word with you very briefly. And I invite you to listen keenly. I read for you from Psalm 121. And it says, I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. Let me hear you say evil. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. This is the word of the Lord. We honor it by saying. We honor it by saying. I want you to understand people that you, you might not be in church but I represent the church so excuse me while I represent Jesus this morning hallelujah I see that you have a theme that says time come well time come let me talk to you a little bit about time And I'm a pastor, I'm not a politician. So work with it. Amen? We are creatures of time. And by that I mean that we live in time and that is a fundamental fact of mortality. It is important for us to respond appropriately to the seasons of life as they come. There is an occasion for everything. The Bible says that there is a time for everything under the sun. A time for every activity under the heavens. In this, your celebration of 84 years, I want to commend you, the People's National Party, for being deliberate to include God in the mix. It was just a week ago that you came together to attend church and here you are again wanting a word from the Lord at the beginning of your conference. You must be commended for that. But I want you to listen well. Do not let this word pass you by. Come, let us reason together because time come. As you move forward, I want to implore you to remember these four things always. I want you to tweet it. I want you to WhatsApp it. I want you to, to, to Facebook it or text it or put it in your electronic notepads. Four things I want to leave with you real quick. And here they are. Number one, status or service. Number two, personal pursuits or people. Number three, marketing or mission. Number four, charisma or character. 84 years of rich history. And today I challenge all of you to confront the reality of your purpose. Let me ask you a question real quick. Why are you here? Why did you choose this path? 
the time has come to rise above the rhetoric of the naysayers to turn to God for help hallelujah and when God decides to help I want you to stick with God let me run them down quickly for you again and I will leave you with the word I told you already that I'm a pastor I'm not a politician so I'm gonna give you the word of God number one status or service the Bible declares whoever wants to become great among you must be your servant leadership comes with status but status without service is meaningless can I talk to somebody this morning number two personal pursuits or people Philippians chapter 2 verse 4 is very instructive and it says not looking to your own interests but each of you to the interests of others never forget that people matter that is to say that people are important and they depend on you to serve them well by taking their interests into careful consideration PNP as you move ahead bear the people factor in mind and always do right I said right do right by the people because God will hold you accountable number three and i see that my time is up but me soon done tell somebody says she soon done number three marketing or mission galatians chapter 6 verse 9 says let us not become weary in doing good for at the proper time somebody said proper time at the proper time we will reap a harvest if we do not give up you have a purpose people's national party you have a purpose you have a mission you have a vision i want you to be driven by that marketing or any kind of promotion without substance is meaningless emptiness wrap that up in mission and there you will have purpose the work of doing good is not always easy it is not even always welcomed it can get discouraging but keep on pressing for if you are pressing in the right direction and you do not give up harvest time will come and the last one and I'm done the last one and I'm done last one and I'm done tell somebody beside the last one and she done number four charisma or character charisma or character psalm 78 verse 72 speaks of a man who was a nation leader he was a king his life was far from perfect but he had charm and he had good looks and he had skill far from perfect was he but he had integrity integrity hear the scriptures and hear the word of the lord well and David shepherded them with integrity of heart with skillful hands he led them I wanted to understand people's national party in the sea of orange before my eyes charm beauty charisma stage presence means absolutely nothing when character is out of alignment with God's laws and principles I told you I come here to preach this morning I come here to preach my friends men and women with sound moral integrous character are in high demand but short supply it's a scarcity service people mission character time come time come line up to rise up wise up to size up time come hope because i saw on the tv 
last night that you were talking about hope let me just give you something about hope while I walk to the exit let me tell you something about hope hope is a state of mind it is being optimistic about positive outcomes concerning events or activities and Psalm 121 the first two verses tells us about hope it says I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills from whence cometh my help my help cometh from the Lord which make heaven and earth lasting hope it's not hope that is grounded in man's ability, capability, skill, or prowess. Lasting hope comes from a recognition of the access we have to God, Yahweh, the creator of the heavens and the earth. A hope that is grounded in God's unchanging, unmatched, powerful ability to do what nobody else can do. Watch you know, hear this. Let God be more than an item on your agenda to tick off put God in your life make him come first for time come yes hallelujah